In this video, I blind bought 25 hidden gem fragrances. Didn't know much about any of them except for a few. I found them mostly on the internet. They're all 90% of them under $25. There's a couple of rare hidden gems. One of them by Carolina Herrera called Aqua coming up. We're going to start today with Emmanuel Angaro for him from 2013. It's got orris root in it. What is orris root? It's a sweet, floral, woody, earthy root aroma. Kind of earthy. This also has some cinnamon in it. Tonka bean, which is a vanilla cherry almond note almost. It's got some pepper in it. And it's reminiscence of Polo Red. To give you an idea, they did also make a 2013 Emmanuel Angaro just for her. So I think it's a pink colored bottle that looks just like that. As this list continues, we've got titles from Calvin Klein, Caribbean Joe, Versace. Coming up is the super cheap hidden gem of the day found for $13 to $15 on eBay. It's called Caribbean Joe. Caribbean Joe, simply put, it smells like cool water or even a different take on green Irish tweed. Right after this, I've got the discontinued gem called Herrera Aqua. Keep on watching this video because I do have a giveaway, a full bottle of Hummer cologne. You will know the rules to get it in a moment. Caribbean Joe is an aromatic fragrance for men. Top notes are mojito. You know the drink. It comes in a box like this. I put the links down below for the most Every single item on here, I put the best prices down below, but it doesn't matter if one of them sells out because they're only a dollar or two higher anyway, 23 or 24, you know what I mean? Basically, Caribbean Joe is a unique take on cool water. The average price on it was $17. It's very relaxed. It does last about four hours on you. It's not bad. There are differences in cool water and Caribbean Joe. It looks, if you deploy Caribbean Joe during really hot weather, you will very much be pleased. It's great for you guys in Maritas, or is that a Caribbean? Anywhere in the hottest weather. Next up is CK1 Collector's Edition Red Bottle. I don't know why they, they even made this, but it is a cool red bottle. Prices are skyrocketing up high up into the $50. I found this $19.95, and the, basically it's a more brighter version than CK1. Some people on the blogs really enjoy this better. Bergamot, cardamom, pineapple, or some of the notes in here. Green tea, white rose. Compared to the regular CK1, it's more polished in the opening and the citrus is lovely. The florals are not as heavy in the red bottle. Next up is Herrera Aqua. This is a hidden gem for real, for real. Discontinued. And in 2017, I actually bought this bottle for $35 and then I saw them skyrocketing to 50 and then by the end of 2017, 2018, they were $99 and now people are asking $270 for this bottle. But if you can find it from a seller, maybe at a flea market where they, the people don't know what they have because they're selling pots and pans and they have a bottle of fragrance, you will find this cheaper like I did. It reminds people of the tall DKNY men, but fresher. This has a fig note in it and it dries down powdery and beautifully. It's an easy to wear, awesome compliment getting fresh blue fragrance. Mandarin, fig, and bergamot add a fruity note to this in the beginning, joined by lavender. There's some herbal notes into it and the base gets so, I love the dry down on this fragrance. It's so awesome. I'd like to spray myself 80 times with it, but I think this bottle will be let go. Carolina Herrera Aquaman is something that you just blind spray. You don't even have to think about wearing it. If you want to win this full bottle of Hummer cologne called Limitless, it's the car company. All you have to do is share this video, be a subscriber to this channel, and say, I want to Hummer, along with your best comment. The winner will be chosen within three to four days, and I will mail you this free of charge. If you are from out of the country, you will mail me a label, and I will mail you this. This is for U.S. viewers. You'll get free shipping, and I mail it to you. No cost to you. Next one is called Pinot Sylvester. It's a very synthetic fragrance that smells like a very good pine note, and there's like all sorts of different Pinot Sylvesters. One thing, if you do buy this $10 fragrance, simply be aware that this is the built-in sprayer, and you just spray it like that, and if you pull off the cap, you might ruin it. Cedar moss, cedar woods, oak moss, moss, Synthetic. It's very harsh. People love this fragrance. There's like a cult following. 
Personally, I don't like this style of fragrance, but if you like to know the pine notes and green notes and stuff that smells like Agua Brava, have you ever heard of that? Then you should pick this up for $15 to $17. Brand new in the box and testers are like $10. Here's a really cool fragrance, a little bit higher price, but I found it for $39.95. It's called Hermes Citron Noir. The people don't like this fragrance because of longevity. Mostly fragrance aficionados like cheap fragrances that last long for some reason. This is a beautiful fragrance that doesn't last long. It's a dark fragrance. It's a resinous backdrop. It's got smokiness in it. It's the opening is very nice and then it dries down very dark. 20 minutes later, you, you feel a, a fresh cut lemon type smell. Citron, eau de citron noir. Citron means dark lemon the word noir means black so lemon black to be quite honest with you after the opening the woman a woman called consider this a Dior sauvage pofama kind of like that sort of fragrance for some reason it gives me that in my head if there was a Dior sauvage for women this is what you would wear right here in my opinion this is a good go-to variation for women to have the permission to wear Dior Sauvage, although it's marketed for both men or women, Eau de Citron Noir is very elegant and I do like the smell of it. Next up is a very nice fragrance by Kenneth Cole called Mankind, but it's a newer one. Well, it's an older one from 2015 called Mankind Ultimate. It's got vetiver flowers and cashmere and it looks just like this. And it does smell like fierce by Amber Crombie and Fitch. If you ever wanted to buy Mankind Ultimate, other fragrances that smell like Amber Crummy Fitch Fierce is called Mont Blanc Legend, the black bottle. It's not too sweet in the dry down. It's very well balanced and it's got some sandalwood musk. You spray Kenneth Cole Ultimate five to six times, you will get seven to eight hours out of it. It's not bad. If you put it on your wrist a couple shots, you might only get four hours on it. The next fragrance is Have called... you ever heard of Antonio Banderas Blue Seduction? Well, this is Black Seduction. You can find this for about $15, about of average performance. It does make you smell sweet and sexy and good for 15 bucks. I would highly recommend you get this one on the list for 15. I really enjoy that scent aroma. The next fragrance for women is called Giorgio Beverly Hills Glam. It's got peony cyclamen it's t under twenty dollars and when it first came out in 2016 30 40 50 dollars labdomum sandalwood it smells like sarah jessica parker covet bloom and you could probably find this even less than fifteen dollars if you look hard enough the next fragrance is called unbreakable bond it's right here I'm, it's sealed it's a floral fruity fragrance by lamar and chloe kardashian to say that their bond is unbreakable however it's ironic now maybe that's why it's becoming a little bit pricey, but I found it for $29. Saffron, bergamot, clementine, jasmine are some of the notes in here. It also has some chocolate notes and tonka bean and vanilla. And you can find tester bottles of this without the box for $13. Just look for 1.7 ounce bottles. The next bottle is by Burberry. It's called Mr. Burberry. Prices are all over. Be careful when you buy this. Make sure you have a reputable seller with the Woody Aromatic Fragrance for Men, launched in 2016. There's also Burberry Indigo. Bottle looks like this for Mr. Burberry. Guayac Wood, Benzoin, Oak Moss. A slightly above average performance on this. It's very, very versatile. Very good compliments. Price tag was just under $30. More suited towards warm weather. I think spring weather would be good. Semi-sweet grapefruit with cardamom in here. And a woody scent that is very pleasant. Skyrocket high. I think that this is just fine. The Eau de Parfum version is a little bit darker and $20 higher. While the Eau de Parfum is good, all you need to do is find the Eau de Toilette. And I'm not sure, but this could be discontinued because I don't see these 3.4 ounce bottles. Everyone's selling 1.7 ounce bottles, but I put the link down below from a trusted seller. You can find this before they sell. Mr. Burberry Eau de Parfum was launched in 2017. Just so you know, this one was launched earlier than that. Next is a hidden gem fragrance by Bijan. Don't be fooled. This is a floral woody musk for women. And why did I say don't be fooled? Because everyone's asking $70, $80, $90 when you can easily find this for $25, under $30. Bijan Nude 2.5 ounce. The next fragrance is called Bulgari Goldie. The next bottle is Bulgari Goldia. My friend Sharon got a bottle free from her mom because her dad gave it to her mom. Her mom didn't like it. It's a more mature, thick floral fragrance. And the, the longevity, Sharon tells me, lasted four days on her clothes, eight hours on her skin. Very musky too. I think it's appropriate for just a notch older than 28 years old to start out this fragrance. 
Next one I found at a flea market for $3 called Heaven Scent. And if you look on eBay, it's a $60 fragrance. It's a lovely floral, old school for women. And the links down below I found for under 25. The next fragrance is a great deal I found for about $20. It's a big, huge, heavy bottle called La Lique Parfum for women. Dominique Ropillon created this. It's got pink pepper and bergamot in it. It's a cool, almost a one pound bottle vanilla and tonka bean and sandalwood it's very upscale kind of and sexy and one lady said it smells like people having sweaty sex and it leaves a huge scent trail and for 20 dollars, if you wanted something to gift to your mother or someone of a more mature age i think you would like this a high value woman might like this too it brings out an animalistic vibe when you wear it in the heat though it's really good for nighttime it's called le parfum it's an eau de parfum the next one is called dkny energizing it's an old fragrance from 2011 this thing is an eau de toilette they do make an eau de parfum it's got a vodka note and violets in it and narcissus in it that's a floral basically it's a clean fresh energizing citrus that's easy to wear the next one is cool water but it's the deodorant found for ten dollars and 99 cents 2.5 ounces when you want a deodorant that smells good, it smells just like cool water. So if the, the 2.5 ounce cool water is $15. So you might go better with that. The next one my mother used to wear and all her friends, the French ladies, called Lulu by Cacharel. It's got a plum, Chinese, cinnamon, woods, Irish, jasmine. It's all from the 87 to the 90s. Everyone used to wear this. This fragrance goes on and off market. So be well aware that when they re-release, the price will go back down to like $20, $29. Right now, the prices are a little bit high, holding around $40 to $50. It's an amazing, long-lasting fragrance for a classy French lady like my mom was and all her friends in the, in the Mary Institute school and all that. The Plummy Powdery Vanilla Dry Down for Lulu Cacharel. And the word Lulu is a pet nickname for my friend's wife for some reason. So I told him about it. The next one for police is called Police Rebel Violet Nutmeg Cool Bottle. This is the cap. It has got can be found for $14 everywhere as a tester. And it has similarities, similarities to this Versace Eros. $14 versus 30 is not the exact same thing, but it's cool and nice gift. Perfect for a teenager or people that collect strange looking bottles. It even has a grill on it that says police right there. The next one is beautiful. Berry Note by True Religion. Fruity, flirty fragrance with pomegranate, Fruji apple, which is a red apple, raspberry, jasmine. It's ridiculously sexy. The close up on that fragrance. It's got delicious lily of the valley. It's basically one of your most pleasant female fragrances that you could buy. Also be careful and make sure you've got the batch code on yours. There were a lot of counterfeits of this fragrance back when it was released in 2011. To sum it up, it's a fresh, fruity, light floral that lasts four to six, seven hours, depending on how much you spray. The next one is called Lomani Code, and this is a big metal box that it comes in. It's kind of a cool bottle that actually lasts a long time and does you good for a $15 fragrance. It has an enormous scent trail. You have to pull this out, and the bottle comes out, and it looks like this. For this fragrance, I would say age is 21 and up. I don't know why, but some of these sellers, it says sold 586 bottles and I've never even heard of this fragrance called Lomani Code. Smells like expensive grape juice if anyone's ever heard of it. The next one's called Diesel Plus Plus Masculine right here. I would not recommend you buy it, but some people love it because it's $15. It was launched in 1997. I can't stand this fragrance. I tried to wear it back in the early 2000s. I hated it back then, and I still hate it now. I'd like to throw this thing in the trash, but it just sold. Play Diesel Plus Plus has some cinnamon tonka bean nut bag, and I apologize if it's one of your favorite fragrances. Personally, it doesn't smell good on me. It smells like sculpture, which isn't bad. It's just so average for me. The next fragrance is called Joe Malone Oriental Woody Dark Amber Ginger Lily. I found a whole bag of them, 10 samples for $25. You can look on the links down below. Maybe you can get one too. It's a great fragrance because Joe Malone's so trendy and expensive. The full-size bottles are like $110. And there you can get 
10 samples for $25. That's like three bucks a sample. It's well worth it. It's got patchouli and leather in it and it feels chic and trendy and sophisticated when you wear it. It is a little bit dark for my skin, but I picture someone wearing skinny jeans and high heels or a man can wear it too. It's definitely unisex, definitely sophisticated, and you can wear it both in a formal or casual setting very bougie so kind of reminds me of this fragrance called versace crystal noir the joe malone reminds me of versace crystal noir next fragrance is called pascal red morabito i hope you're enjoying this this whole list of 25 hidden gems under 25 red amber was launched in 2012 the nose behind this fragrance is violaine colas the top notes are black pepper tangerine chili pepper geraniums in here it doesn't it's not an actual bad fragrance it smells not bad it's an autumn fragrance found for 30 dollars average price but i found you the link down below under 20 dollars because that's the name of this video hidden gems under 25 dollars orange and lme resins are in here it's got a woody woody echo and for the price of 30 dollars it's not bad but for the price of 20 dollars a-okay stylish background along with the sweet notes in here anything else we want to talk about i'd like you to tell me three of your most favorite hidden gems i don't care what price they are let's talk about hidden gems so people come to this video they'll see three hidden gems on the listing in the comments it's kind of fun is oh i've never heard of police i never heard of the last video we made with hidden gems i found you guys had great comments and great listings from pen halligans and so many more that i'd never heard of peace and love i'll see you on the next video don't forget to enter that content